Hey what's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews and today I have got my hands on another brand new Android TV box. Stay tuned for the review. So this is the WeTech Play 2 Android TV box. This is not just an Android TV box, it's a hybrid. So this box actually has a built-in TV tuner and you have a full EPG programming guide and you'll have the Android TV side as well. So I'm very, very excited to try this box out to see how well it works. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So this has the S905H quad-core CPU running at 2 GHz, the Mali 450, 2 GB of DDR3 RAM, 8 GB of internal storage, a DVB S2 TV tuner, you've got dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth version 4. So this runs a custom version of Android. It's called the Android Wii OS, based on Android 5.1. This supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second. You've got support for Google Widevine, Microsoft Play Ready, and this also supports Dolby DTS and Dolby Audio. So this is a brand new Android TV box. You've got the best of both worlds. It's a hybrid. You've got a built-in TV tuner for your satellite and cable. And you've got a full Android version running here. So you've got a two-in-one system. So let's get the box open and see what it looks like. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that presentation. Okay, let's keep going. This is everything you get in the box. We'll begin with the instruction manual, how to get set up. Looks like a very nice and easy simple guide. You've got a customer service card here. Okay, a HDMI cable. You've got what looks like a VGA cable. So you can attach it to your monitor. You've got an adapter here and all you do is choose the one that suits your country. That's a UK adapter there, but you have others supplied already. So you, you've got your US and your other international um, sockets there. And the remote control. I'll take this ribbon off. Okay, so this is a full featured remote control. You have the home button, back button menu you've even got the mouse button so you can use it as a mouse okay but at the bottom here is, is the interesting part so at the bottom over here you've got pvr controls so for the tv tuner you can just press record and it will start recording immediately you can play pause and rewind live television as well so a very very nice looking remote control and, I, and i'm looking forward to testing it out these buttons here the colored buttons are also fully programmable so you can program say the red button to open kodi for example or you can change it, you can make the blue button open the browser. So I think that's a really good custom feature that WeTech have included. So we will be checking this out soon. All right, and the actual box itself. It says they empower your TV. I like, I like it, I like the packaging. Okay, so they have to pull this off. So here it is, this is the WeTech hybrid Android TV box looks totally different to what we're used to in Android TV boxes okay so you got the logo at the front you got a simple design it's just black finish so you got a Wi-Fi light there a network light that's probably for your LAN port and you've got a power indicator here going across okay you got some ventilation all the way down and on the back the ports so starting from this side you got your power socket you've got an RS232 socket which just looks like a 3.5 millimeter jack. You got an optical SPDIF connection. You got your HDMI. So you got your LAN port there. And over here, you've actually got a component port. Okay, this doesn't come with a component cable, but this is a component port, your HD component port. So you got HDMI and, an, and a component section there. This is two USB sockets. And over here, so over here is your TV tuner connection. So you'd plug your satellite connection into here. It says RF in and RF out. So you would just plug that directly in there and we'll be testing that out later. On the other side, you've got more ventilation, a micro SD card port and a USB port. So total, you have three USB ports, two at the back and one on the side. At the bottom, this is what it looks like. So this is the WeTech box. 
So I want to quickly compare the size because yes, uh, this is a lot bigger than most Android TV box we're used to. So here is the TX5 Pro. So if I get that here, you'll see that it's considerably bigger and double the, double the thickness. So yeah, so that was just to give you guys an idea of size. So I just want to quickly show you guys, this is a DVB-S2 connection. Um, but if you wanted to change to a DVB-T2 connection, which looks like this, um, you can simply remove this by pushing down on a switch there, and you can basically pull this out. Okay, so replacing it is quite easy. It just slots straight in. And that's it. Clicks into place. And now you've got a DVB T2 system, which you can use with an indoor aerial, for example. So this box comes with any TV tuner you like, and thereafter you have the option to purchase um, additional TV tuners. So I'm going to hook this up to my TV, and I'll be right back. So this is the home screen for the Wii Tech Play 2. A very nice looking home screen indeed, but first of all, let's have a quick look at the settings. I really like how the settings opens with a transparent background. Um, you can change everything around from here, very nice and convenient, and it looks great. So at the top it will show you a box with your recent activity, the last thing you did, be it a game or a YouTube or video, it will show you your last activity. And then along the top, the smaller icons, it will give you suggestions and recommendations of what you could watch next. So quite a nice touch that. So the next row over here you can see is all the apps currently installed on this system. So this is what you get as standard. Um, I haven't installed anything yet. So you can see I've got a favorites bar which is empty at the moment. If I press OK over any app, it will add it to the favorites like I just did. I'll do it to Aptoid as well. I'll add that to favorites. All you do is keep OK pressed and there it appears on favorites. So the next thing I'm quite excited to show you guys is Wii TV. So Wii TV is actually the TV tuner that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm going to set this up really quickly and scan all the channels in and then I'll give you a demonstration of how good this is. So as you can see it's already found over a hundred channels. This is my indoor aerial by the way and it's working great. It's found 134 channels. Scan finished. So let's see how it works. So I've got BBC One on. And it looks brilliant. What's going on here? 23 year old Anna Gabriella Moya is head of housekeeping. So, another thing I want to show you guys, which is absolutely awesome, is you can record live TV without at attaching any USB drive. So, you simply press record, it will ask you how long you want to record for. You just hit the record button and you are recording directly onto the internal hard drive. You also have a full, very nice looking EPG guide, which comes up if you just press the blue button and it will appear and it will give you a complete guide for the whole day for all of your channels. And you can navigate through all the channels very quickly. I like how you can carry on watching your show in the background while you're seeing what's on next. So that's a really cool feature. As this is quite a powerful Android TV box, Moving around, changing channels, recording, everything feels really smooth and fast. Um, I really like the TV tuner on this. So now I've gone ahead and installed all my favorite games and apps on this TV box. And I'm going to be using these apps and games to test this box out. Okay, so I've just opened Kodi and I'm going to quickly check out Kodi performance. So I'm just going to play a series of short sample clips on Kodi and we're going to see how well it plays. Thank you. Thank you for explaining not simply disappearing. I quite understand. I have had a wonderful evening. So now I'm going to be testing out YouTube performance. Hey, what's up guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. 
So I needed a new portable hard drive to back up my files and after doing some research I finally chose this one. Okay, that was great. So let's move on now to the gaming test. And the first game I like to play is Crossy Roads. So now I'm going to show you guys how to activate the Google Play Store. So you do have Google Play Store pre-installed on this, but it doesn't sh it doesn't show straight away. So to activate Google Play Store, go to settings and go straight to launcher. So from launcher you'll get all these subheadings, then go to apps. Now in apps, you'll see all of these apps which are highlighted and some are hidden. So you simply hover the cursor over the app that you want to activate. So here's the Play Store. If you just click on the button, um, its transparent icon at the moment, it will turn into a full color icon. So now I've just activated the Google Play Store. So now I've added Google Play Store. You can see it at the end of the favorites. If I click, if I keep the OK button pressed, I can actually move it around where I want and I've brought it to the front now. So if I open up the Google Play Store, you will see that is the full version of the Google Play Store, ready for you to download thousands of games and apps. Okay, so let's now try and play a few 4K samples from a USB drive. So now I'm going to run a Wi-Fi test. So this TV box was able to achieve 34 megabits per second for download speed and 9 megabits per second for upload speed. Moving on to the Antutu benchmark test. So the WeTech Play 2 has achieved a total benchmark score of 36,848. So let's see how it compares to the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart where you can compare all the Android TV boxes that I have reviewed to date. Higher the score, better the overall performance. So as you can see, the WeTech Play 2 has jumped straight to number 2, 36,848. So it will be very interesting to see which Android TV box I review next and what overall score it will get. So stay tuned for that. 
So there you have it guys, that was the WeTech Play 2. Now let me tell you guys, this box has totally surprised me. Okay, this has only a quad-core processor, 2 GBs of DDR3 RAM and an 8 GB internal storage. So I was not expecting a super performance from this box. But let me tell you, the performance was amazing. Okay, and I'm not exaggerating there. What they've done is they've made a custom operating system called WeOS. It's based on Android 5.1, but when you're looking at it, you cannot tell it's Android 5.1. It just looks like the latest operating system. But what's interesting about it is the whole box and all the operations, navigations, playing movies, games, videos, everything was so smooth with this box. Yeah, I really, really like this box. I'm actually quite impressed. It got a very high benchmark score, you know, in the category of quad cores. So what really impressed me about this box is the TV tuner. The TV tuner and the software and the way the channels loaded, um, the way you can change channels very quickly, the recording, the ability to record without a USB drive, you got USB ports here, so if you wanted, you could plug it in and you can continue recording straight onto the drive. This is a great all-round hybrid 4K media center. So WeTech are constantly providing updates, fixes for their custom WeOS firmware. There's a lot of downloads and custom ROMs available in their forum, which I have checked out. I haven't tested yet. So there's a lot of support on there. There's a lot of um, extras you can do with this box. Yeah, don't be put off by the size of the unit. It is big, but it's light. It's still portable. Um, this is still much, much smaller than your Skybox or your satellite box that you've got as it is. Um, I did compare it to the TX5 Pro and it is slightly bigger. But the performance, TV tuner, everything makes up for it. It's a very cool box. This is the first hybrid Android TV box that I've tested. And I'm very impressed with it. So if you are looking for a hybrid that can do your online streaming and your TV tuner, then look no further. The WeTech is brilliant. So what I'll do is I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this item out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.